Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Thursday and today's the day that we are gonna get our truck. Holy man. Wait, really? Yeah, really. Like we are getting our truck today. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. Raining. On the day that it's raining. Yeah, it was supposed to come yesterday, but they had to change it. And so yeah, today we get it when it's raining. But anyway, we got something else yesterday and I want to show it to you guys. And uh, I know there will be some controversy over it, but um, you guys know that we've been dealing with Chino's feet. He has like had not huge feet issues, just slightly enough to drive him crazy. So um, every time he has like a little bit of a problem with his feet, we come to the conclude, we like, we figure out what it is and we're working so close with our farrier and he has like funny feet that dish out when they get too long. And depending on what time of year it is and what he's eating, they, sometimes his feet grow really fast and sometimes they grow really slow. And our farrier was telling us that it would be so beneficial for him if we learn to rasp his feet just a little tiny bit between farrier visits. Um, in the past, we've always had our farrier coming five weeks just for Chino because sometimes even four weeks because he seems to have needed that amount of care. And she said that she would teach us how to rasp his feet just a little tiny bit to keep them from dishing out between appointments. So we'll still keep our six week appointment, but we could do this maybe at three weeks or I don't even know. She's going to teach us all everything about it. She's going to explain it to us. And Sophie wants to become a farrier. I know who would have ever thought it she does. She wants to become a farrier. Do you want to become a farrier Sophie? Yes. Yeah. So that's one of the things that she wants to do with her life. There's so many things that she wants to do. There's actually two other things. What else do you want to do? I want to be a babysitter and, um, uh, coach. She okay. wants to train a kids to ride. Remember, she's still really young. She has a long way to go before she gets to any of those things. But it's so good to know what you want to do with life, or at least to think what you know what you want to do with life, and to be working towards those as early as you can. Like that's a gift of homeschool is that she gets to spend time doing the things that she thinks she wants to do, so she can rule them out or progress in them as she's growing. And anyway, so what did your dad buy you? Um. A little kit thing. Yeah, he bought it for all of us, actually. Three, two, one. Whoa. <laughs> that didn't really work out. Well, it's because So, he bought this little case. It's like a farrier kit. I don't know how good it is. I don't know. It's just the start for us. So, this is the rasp, and this is just to, like, file his feet down just a slight little bit so that they don't flare. That's all we want to do. So, but in the event that Sophie does get to mentor with her and learn as much as she can, like, it's this is orange. such a good opportunity. Um, she also got these, what are those? I don't know. So she also got the whole entire kit. It comes with all the things. Is that the blade? We don't even know what any of this is yet. Yeah, that's the blade. Mm -hmm. So it comes with all the stuff that she's going to need to be working with a farrier. It's got these really nice heavy duty gloves. It's got all the things, or at least we think all the things. It's maybe just a basic kit. I don't know. We don't know enough about this, but I just wanted to show you guys that this is something that Sophie's going, this is the direction that Sophie's going in. Um, she'll be, like I said, all we're going to be using is this to learn to rasp and we're all going to learn it not just Sophie it's not going to be Sophie out there taking care of Chino's feet we're all going to learn just it me. she's going to teach us all and whoever has the best affinity for it who picks it up the best who can do the best job is going to be the one doing so it not me no, you never know. You might love it, Sophie. I might love it. Dad might love it. Gabby might love it. Well, we're just going to see. Sam has always wanted to do this. He just doesn't have, like, the right body. His knees would never be able to handle him bent over like that for so long. But anyway, this is it. And we've been reading up on, like, how to keep our tools sharp and how long a rasp lasts. Like, I also have a friend that is a farrier, and she will help us out with any questions that we have. But like I said, we're not aiming to do any of this we don't ever aim to do our horse's feet on our own until unless Sophie does pick it up and she becomes like a, a, a actual farrier with all the training and all the everything under her belt we don't plan to do any of that we just plan to learn to rasp slightly to keep Chino's feet from dishing out I think it's such an amazing opportunity. I'm so grateful to have it. And we might not end up doing it at all if it turns out that none of us are good at it or if we don't have an aptitude for it. 
Well, I'm going to be doing it. Yeah, Sophie really wants to do it. Holy heck, it is raining. We brought the balloons in after we use them because it scares me. Hi. Oh <laughs> you guys, Kaden. Oh, oh, Penny. She got a branch to the neck. What the heck? It's okay. Oh, I was going to bring towels down and I forgot. Penny is. Penny apparently likes to be in the trees. Oh, wait. Did you guys know that horses have sensitive skin yeah. when it's wet? Like it, it feels weird to them when you touch them? Okay, I don't really know that that's true. <laughs> I just made that up. <laughs> no, but some horses are. Like I know that, oh look, he's, oh, he's wet. That was you guys, only chance one time. You guys gotta run up and get some towels, please. So were they in the barn when you went to? Well, they saw the dogs run out and they went right into Oh, is that what you're talking about? There. Oh, they're so smart. She knows, like, I will eat your hand. <laughs> no, we don't mouth people's hands. Penny, stay in. It's muddy. Do not roll. Do not roll. It's been raining all day. Hi, oh, sweet princess. I gave all my treats that were in my pocket to. Oh, she's mad. <laughs> she's so grouchy. Can you guys tell how gross? Oh, well, now, now she's not. Now she's like, oh, look at how cute that would have been. Now she's in heat. Now she's just, I guess grouchy is not the right word I was looking for. Look at the wind. They stood outside and ate all morning. They could have come in the arena at any point, but they didn't. They just were all out there and they were <laughs> all calm, except for Miss Grouchy. You're so grouchy. Anyway, it is lunchtime. The horses have been out for the morning and we're gonna dry them off. Hopefully we don't die because they're all messing around in here. Do you see it? She kisses. She also expects a treat and I don't have one. So this could go bad. But yesterday, yesterday when I was, see? <laughs> yesterday when I, was feeling super emotional. She came up to me and she initiated the kiss. She came up and she kissed me and she's done that a couple of times. But I swear, like, horses are so much smarter and feel so much more than we ever give them credit for. All animals, actually, even chickens, even chickens. over here Gabby's just holding her she's just like yeah fine do whatever maybe it's our approach Sam that's you're okay she needed her halter on for this well I know that like usually people do things with their horses with their halters on the girl that I follow the my dream trainer is like a natural trainer and she doesn't use any like whips crops halter she does use halters but she doesn't use them all the time any things like picking their feet, like she teaches them to be able to be worked with without a halter, if that makes sense. 
They're dried. They're dried, but they're still wet. So we got really bad news. So essentially, you guys know Sam's truck is coming today. And they said like, so he ordered, when he ordered it, he ordered um, a bunch of extra stuff put on. So like he got the rails for the truck bed for our trailer. And so they ordered them and they were supposed to be put on before we get our truck. So this morning, Sam's so excited. We're all so excited to get the truck. And he sends them a message and says like, what time are you coming? Cause they're dropping it off. And they said, what did they say, Sam? They said that they ordered the wrong parts for the truck rails. It's not coming until tomorrow and they can't put it on until Monday. So they're not dropping the truck off till Monday. Yeah, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, like, okay, things happen, but why wouldn't you tell us? Like, we made so many plans for the weekend thinking we had this truck and they didn't even inform us until like we were expecting the truck to arrive and he just happened to message them. So anyway, our truck's not coming. We're still gonna try and figure out a trail ride. We're still gonna try and figure that out. This is what we used in the past as like a bridge for our horses. I like it. I'm just worried it's not strong enough. And so my friend told me, we'll see how that's got like bricks in there. That should really make it a lot stronger. But in the middle parts, somehow we have to like reinforce it. How are you about reinforcing stuff? That's garbage now. It's been sitting out in the rain. Oh. It's all like rotting. I really want a bridge for our horses. I think. All right, I challenge you with building me a bridge. Or a find me one for sale, because that could work too. So uh, the other thing is that people were saying like, why are you putting boots on a penny to go on a trail ride? And I was thinking, yeah, like she does have good feet. And some people were saying that it's bad on cement, which we're going like in the woods. There's not a whole lot of cement, even in the parking lot, I doubt that there's cement. But, I've always read and always believed that if you're going like on really rough terrain with your horse, even if your horse has good feet, protecting their feet is like such a good idea so that they don't get worn down and and they don't get feet problems from trails. Like we've gone on extreme trails before, extreme trails at Horse Country Hick campground holy man that was such a rush if you guys haven't seen our camping with horses series we have two series and we went two summers oh it was so much fun and we did extreme trails there so uh check out that camping with horses series that was so much fun but i feel like a lot of the horses that went not just ours but like a lot of horses that went got like sore after had like not like crazy sore but i know one of our friends horses got an abscess after and i've read and been told that if you're going on like rougher terrain to protect your horse's feet and use boots as a preventative not as like not because they need them but just to like make sure just to keep them keep them from getting hurt does that make sense but enough people mentioned it that I'm gonna look it up and just double check because I don't, I don't, I honestly don't know that it would hurt our horses to wear boots out on the trail. I think it's, I think it's only good, especially obviously Chino who, who might be still a little bit foot sore, but as a preventative and to protect our horses' feet. Uh oh. This is why you have to put them all in their stall. Hello. How'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two Hope you're fine, ain't got time To do everything you said you would Frames of the past and The memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days With your smile and the power I was broken How could they say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken How could they say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends 
Not broken, not broken Don't you know that you're beautiful 